facing now uh, moving on full-time employees working overtime in the ue are entitled to extra pay now this is <laughs> right so it's a reminder to all of the regulations uh, it's not a new new law that has been re, uh, instated but it's just uh, like we're just going to run um, run by it and remind you guys of what exactly you're entitled to and so you should know your rights as an employee here in the uae and according to the federal degree uh, by law number 33 of 2021 article 19 as stated in the official uae gazette number 712 Full-time employees working overtime are entitled to additional pay, period. Now, employees can find out if they're eligible for overtime compensation if the employer requires you to work for additional working hours beyond your normal timings, provided that it does not exceed two hours per day. And in all cases, the total working hours shall not exceed 144 hours every three weeks. Now, if you are required to work for more than the normal working hours, the extra time shall be considered overtime, for which the worker shall receive a wage equal to the that corresponding of his working hours. Uh, so what you can also do is you can calculate the overtime that should be paid. So your overtime pay should be calculated according to your basic salary, which is very interesting, not your full one, plus an increase of at least 25% of the wage. So if you're required to work overtime between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., so a late night shift, you should also be entitled to an overtime wage calculated according to the basic wage plus a 50% increase uh, on at least 50%, yeah. And if you're required to work on your rest day, you shall be compensated with an other rest day or with payment of the wage for that day, plus an increase not less than 50% of the basic wage for the day. Now, moreover, yesterday on the Love and Dubai show, UAE lawyer Omar Al-Halu reminded all that employees are entitled to 90 days of sick leaves during this uh, during his elaboration of the UAE labor laws. And uh, he spoke more on annual leaves, on maternity leaves, on uh, sick leaves, on study leaves, sabbaticals. So... All on yesterday's show. And I think the main summary is that although these aren't brand new, it's that um, know your rights as an employee. Um, And I think that the UAE is putting a spotlight on labor laws at the moment because we've had a lot of change recently. um, And there's also more regulation in terms of what the employee rights and also a lot of the changes in the benefit of the employee. Yes. So take note of that. Um, but the most thing you can, the best thing you can do is know your rights as an employee. Um, so uh, if you're entitled to anything, then you can raise it with your employer. Speaking of, uh, just speaking of like day changes and shifts, we saw that the UK has just in, will introduce a trial period for 30 companies to do yeah. a four day working week. That's so interesting. interesting. I think as the economy gets more competitive, everyone wants to be on the same page. The UAE already set the bar by doing four and a half. work week now the uk and i'm sure so many countries will follow and i think before this it was it was portugal um not portugal i think no. a scandinavian country right but uh we put up the post on facebook about uh full-time employees working overtime are uh, deserving of extra pay so a lot of comments 92 comments and one of them was just i have a friend who's been compelled to work for more than 12 hours a day on, uh, and on his day offs and public holidays without an extra penny and compens- compensation leaves now when i asked him to take a make a complaint he's just like he was afraid of losing his job and complaining won't benefit him at all so i think this is a fear that a lot of people have you know like they know their rights but they just don't know how to speak up uh, speak up for it because they're afraid of losing their jobs and they're afraid of just like how it's going to turn out and maybe not work out in their favor To be in that position where you're scared to speak up is, uh, it's horrifying, but it's these conversations that lead to change. Exactly. So it's, um, you might be in a position that you're like, I can't speak to my employer. However, it's more conversations surrounding it in the media and in the public sphere that makes, uh, that eventually will make these conversations okay. Yeah, so do send us your stories and uh, we'll happily cover them if that brings, helps bring about a change. Um, 